This is Jacob and Sam from Science for Kids. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today we're looking at electricity and... Oh, maybe I'm not going to tell you yet. Hmm. There's something in each one of these devices, Sam. Each one of these toys. Each one of these things that uses electricity. So there's some form of device. Do you know what it is? What's in each one of these machines? What's in the car? Batteries. Yep, there's batteries in this car, that's right. And, then the, and there's a light. There's a, there's a light, yeah, there's and a light. What is in here that makes it turn? A motor. A motor, yes Sam, high five. Yay! In fact, what's that in front of you there? Hold that up a to motor. the camera. That's a motor, what sort of motor? It's an electric motor, and it uses electricity to run. So there's an electric motor to make the drill turn. And this is a motor. Yeah. Do you know what that motor's out of, Sam? Hmm. Goes very slowly. Yes, goes very slowly, and it helps cook your food. It goes beep. <laughs> what goes beep after it's finished? A microwave. A what? A microwave. A microwave. Yeah. This is the motor that actually turns the food on the microwave. And also when the microwave is running, Sam, Look. there is a fan in the microwave as well. And that fan and look, is how... What's this then? That's the motor. Yep, there's the motor there. And what's that? Oh, that's, a, that's not part of the motor. Funny. Look, at there's a fan. Yep. So, that. the train, a train has going. got a motor to make the wheels turn. Without batteries, will the motor run? Mm, yes. Without batteries, will this motor run? No. Nah. No. Nah. Motors need... Battery. E e ele <laughs> electricity. What is a mobile phone? Does a mobile phone have a motor in it? Yes, it does. <laughs> when it, sometimes when it rings, what does it do? Ring, <laughs> ring. <laughs> Bang, bang. Yeah, and it goes. Brrr. There's a little motor in there that makes it go brrr, like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is out of a washing machine. Pumps the water. See, this is a very interesting motor. This one. This is called a. This is a brushless motor, and it spins that little rotor, and that pumps the water for the washing machine. The electric boat. Well, it's got an electric motor, and, and it turns the. Power. Turns the propeller. Power. Yeah. Oh, and. Oh. Oh. There. Close it. Close it. Close it. And. Pick it up. Woo! 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 <laughs> Yay, baby. Yeah, well, well. Oh, there, no. You want to have a close look at the motor? Eh? Woo! There you go. There's the motor. Woo! Hello, hello. <laughs> this is a little motor. Woo! <laughs> hey, motors are very important for drop it. Drop it, drop it. Drop it? Why do you want me to drop the motor? <laughs> oh, nah. Hey, That's you want me to drop it? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah! Where'd the motor go? Hey? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And do you know what? That, that robot, it's got lots of motors in it. This has been Jacob and Sam from Science for Kids. Thanks for joining us today and learning a bit about motors and where they're used, hey? Very important. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Before we go, Sam, let's have a look at one more very important thing that's got an electric motor in it. Do you want to turn it on? <gasps> See, it's starting to spin. Can you feel it nice and hot? Oh, see these threads here forming? Yeah. What are they? Fairy floss. Fairy floss. Look at it growing like a big spider web. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> You've got it in your eye, Sam. So bye-bye. Bye-bye. We love electric motors. Hmm? We love fairy floss machines. Mm.